Right, so what we see here is uh, problems with the normals. Uh, since we are using a UV texture map, um, it actually has to jump from here onto the texture over here. And these breaks are the normals that are really screwed up. So what I've done is I've uh, selected the two edges uh, that basically line up the legs to the body of the dinosaur and I went in and went to mash normals and broke off the fung shading. That will get rid of those black lines that are screwing you up. Now um, I want to get uh, 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 my UVs into uh, Photoshop and the way to do that is to go to BBUV Edit and uh, select all your um, polygons and then select all your UVs and uh, save this image. First of all, we'll save this texture and we'll uh, make it a, into a PSD file and make it into, yeah, T-Rex. It's going to say that I've already got that fine and I'm gonna make a new layer and in that layer I'm actually going to um, outline the polygons and it's a pretty thick line but it will give you uh, an exact copy of where the UVs are now um, I can save this again just save texture and then I can open it in Photoshop now, um, this is certainly not the best UV unwrap I've ever made. I <laughs> haven't made that many. But uh, what's so handy about this is that you can actually um, um, use, uh, first of all, the number uh, texture that is in the backdrop and use this layer by just uh, locking it and painting over it. Now, of course, you... I'm not going to go into the uh, paint tools of Photoshop. Uh, that's really not my kind of cup of tea. I can do it, but there's probably uh, people way better than I am. And um, I'm just going to show you that I can jump right in and make this into a procedural texture map because that's the interesting part. Uh, we're just going to go to uh, Startup. And if you lose the grid, go to point mode and go back to whatever mode you want. That's something I picked up along the way. And I'm just going to get rid of my uh, texturing here because the UVs are there anyways. And I'm just going to go and uh, uh, fix this new texture onto my dinosaur and start fiddling around with procedural texture maps. Now, Procedurals are really cool because you can bake them. And uh, I'm not going to uh, go over uh, how to make uh, scales, uh, dinosaur scales. I'm just going to show you how to uh, add the effect. So here's noise, and um, I've actually added that to the bump map, but I can also edit that to the color map. Let's do that. And there's all kinds of noise. And um, I'm just going to hook it up to the world so that it basically goes th straight through the uh, dinosaur. And I'm going to go for Voronoi 1. And it gives you kind of this cell structure. Now, to see what it does, because it doesn't represent very well in preview mode because you, it's procedural. It has to calculate everything um, post-render, basically. Well, it's not post-render, this is the render, but you get what I mean. It can't really represent it in real time. So this looks rather neat. Um, what we can do is, of course, uh, flip the, uh, the entire map or uh, put a colorizer in it. So. Uh, the black and white will be now, let's see, let's make this sort of like a greenish hue. And let's make this, um, where's the black? That's going to be right, a little bit brighter. 
Uh, nah. Let's put that over there like this. And then maybe a brownie color slightly over like this. And that looks really awful. All right. Let's see. Nope. Uh, let's put up the spots like this all the way down. All right. It's getting there. I still hate it, but hey, just for the purpose of showing you what it can do. Now, we got this all covered with spots. What do we do then? Then we um, actually uh, right click on the dinosaur and go into Cinema 4D tags and ask for the Bake Texture tag. Now, um, what you want is you can do the format in PSD, but you can also get just a JPEG or whatever. Um, I want to have a resolution of two uh, sorry, 1024. And the background is, well, let's make that black. I usually like black better. Uh, pixel border, I'll just leave at one. And I'll go to the options. I want the color map. Um, no evaluation of the bump, no use camera, no nothing. And we'll just give it a name. And obviously, I've already done it before. I'm just going to uh, name it Layer Rex. And it's going to use a suffix attached to uh, whatever it's baking. So that could be luminance or alpha or color. And it will just bake every single texture, either procedural or combined with a regular bitmap uh, texture. So you can use fusion or a layer or whatever. And all you need to do at the end is uh, basically push the bake button and it will start baking. And now if I make this new material and I'll uh, put this new material over my old texture map just to prove it. And um, let's put the reflectance off and pick up this texture map, which is called Layer Rex Color. And I'll put it in. I'll just minimize the anti-aliasing. And here you go. Voila, this is your texture. And it's no longer a procedural. It is a bitmap. And you can actually use it in Photoshop to paint over this or combine it with your painting, which is great. Well, uh, thanks for uh, uh, joining me for this uh, uh, Dino tutorial. I know it's not the complete product, but it takes a hell of a long time to make these tutorials. So I'm just leaving you with all the tools and I bet you're making a better one than I have done.